here we are in, in uh, northern Baja. And uh, this is an area we selected because it is perfect for condors. It, it's high enough up, it's craggy, it's got all of the crevices for nests, it's got uh, areas where they can get from point A to point B, roosts, um, and it's just a perfect condor habitat. And this was an area that they lived in back in as late as the 1930s. And they went extinct for the very same reasons they went extinct in the U.S., and that was lead poisoning and shooting and such. And uh, we're here in their most southern portion of their range trying to reestablish them here. We know this is perfect habitat for them. If we can limit the mortality factors and get them under control, the birds will thrive. We were able to politically, um, financially arrange for this project to start in 2002, where we released uh, the first group of five birds. And ironically, some of those five birds are flying around us today, and they're old enough to breed. So it's, a, it's very re rewarding to be able to see them from egg to being parents. It's, it's a very nice project to be involved in. So first of all, we're raising the birds at the San Diego Zoo Safari Park. And once they're uh, a certain age, they get placed into a pen at the park with older birds. They learn to associate with older birds and about the hierarchy and how to advance in it all before they're flown down here at about a year to two years of age and they're placed in a larger pen with some of their own cohorts that they know but also new birds that we have here. These birds associate through the pen as well as sometimes we bring them in. Um, they're released to the wild and uh, they tend to do well. Well the overall goal uh, in this project here in Baja is to have about 40 birds, about 20 pairs of birds producing. We know there's certainly enough food, there's enough landscape, um, it's isolated enough, mortality factors that are we're plagued with in the north are probably less here, and we've come a long way with developing a population here that is behaving quite well and surviving well. Now we just have to mesh them into doing that with the wild landscape and we'll, we'll have it.